Hello everybody and welcome back to Daily Easy English Expression. Can it be more American than this? Is this is baseball truly an American sport? I don't know. Well, this is my baseball glove. Here's a baseball. It's a training baseball. It's a little bit heavier. And I'm using this stuff today to teach you today's expression, which is the sweet spot. The sweet spot. So, usually we use this expression in sports, the sweet spot. And, for example, in a glove. If you want to catch a ball that's been hit, where do you want the ball to touch the glove? Do you want the ball to touch the glove here? Is that good? What about here? What about here? What about here? What about here? The sweet spot is here. The, the best part of the glove is right here, right in the web of the glove. Not here. If the ball hits here, ow, it hurts your hand. If it hits here, it's going to fly out. If it hits here, it's going to fly out. You want the ball to hit right here. This is the sweet spot of the glove. Okay? And the same thing if you're batting. Let's say you have a bat and you're going to, to hit the baseball. And you've got a big baseball. Whoa. Sorry, United States. You are gone. Uh, so this is your baseball bat. It looks like a terrible baseball bat. It looks like a child's baseball bat. Anyway, so you're holding the baseball, and you're going to swing the, the bat to hit the baseball. Where do you want to hit the baseball? Where on the bat? Do you want to hit the baseball here? Do you want to hit it here? Do you want to hit it here? The sweet spot of the bat is going to be right here. Not here, right here. Not here, right here. This is the perfect spot to hit the ball. The same thing with tennis rackets and in bowling. Think about bowling. You got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, and one. So when you're bowling the ball and it's coming down the lane, where do you want the ball to hit the pins? Do you want the ball to hit here, 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 one, two, three, where do you want? This is the sweet spot because if you hit this, the chance of knocking all of them over is greater. So the sweet spot, it's a great expression, it's very popular in sports. Check out the dialogue. How do you like the new racket? It's okay, but I'm going to keep using my old one. <gasps> Why? This one is much more expensive. Yeah, but I can't find the sweet spot. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And for any sport, maybe it's golf or whatever. For me, basketball, man, every time I shoot the basketball, I miss. I can never find the sweet spot. I try to hit the board. I'm really bad at basketball. but. Baseball, uh, golf, things like that. Even with golf, you got to find the sweet spot on the golf club. Sometimes it's tough to find. It is. Now, no, <clears throat> no. Some Americans use this expression in other situations too. For example, when I do my E cubed videos, I have a sweet spot. And the sweet spot is. My lesson is done at four, five minutes. So I got about one minute, 30 seconds before the dialogue, dialogue, and then two minutes, 30 seconds, three minutes after the dialogue, boom, done. For me, less than five minutes is perfect. Now, as you know, sometimes it's over 10 minutes, but Believe it or not, my goal is five minutes, and I might be at the sweet spot right now. So let me go ahead and finish this video, www.letsmasterenglish.com. See if you can find other examples of the sweet spot. Put them down below. Have a great day, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. How do you like the new racket? Uh, it's okay, but I'm going to keep using my old one. <gasps> Why? This one is much more expensive. Yeah, but I can't find the sweet spot. How do you like the new racket? Uh, it's okay, but I'm going to keep using my old one. <gasps>
Why? This one is much more expensive. Yeah, but I can't find the sweet spot. How do you like the new racket? Uh, it's okay, but I'm going to keep using my old one. <gasps> Why? This one is much more expensive. Yeah, but I can't find the sweet spot.